Hi friends, welcome to day 19 of Advent. Today's question comes from Vegan Bunny Mama and her question is, what's your favorite writing craft books or advice? Today's answer is going to be real short, y'all. Writing craft books. So I haven't read a lot. I haven't really read any that I would recommend other than um, K.M. Wayland, which her books are um, a little repetitive, but I did find them helpful and interesting. So K.M. Wayland, she has one on plot and one on outline. And I liked both of those. So yes, you could go that direction. Also, I really love these. These are by Angela Ackerman and Becca Puglisi. Um, and they are thesauruses. There's like a rural setting, emotional thesaurus, negative traits, positive traits. Uh, these I like. So they basically go through, you know, whatever the topic is. And so like it's a thesaurus, so it'll have all of the information. I opened the positive trait thesaurus to friendly, so it has a definition, what categories it would be in, similar attributes, um, possible causes, associated behaviors, associated thoughts, associated emotions, positive aspects, negative aspects, examples from literature, traits and supporting characters that might cause conflict, challenge scenarios for friendly characters. So it has like a lot of information in these about um, traits, emotions, things like that. So if you're trying to build a character and you need help with that character or if you need to figure out why a character would act the way that they act or have an emotion that they have, these are great tools for that. The best writing advice that I have is just to read a lot. There are several well-known published authors that will continuously tell you that in order to write well you need to read well and I feel like if you're you need to know what a good book is and that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be like a good book it has to be a good book to you like if you enjoy this type of book but you're writing this type of book you're not going to enjoy what you're writing probably and you're not going to know what that type of book typically hit you know each genre has its own tropes its own paces its own settings things that you know that you can find similarly in a genre. So if you're writing outside of the genre that you enjoy, you need to read some in that genre. So in order to write well, you must read well. And I do truly believe that. That's literally it. That's literally all I have. Like I don't, I don't have anything else. I'm sorry. I'm a trash human. It's fine. Let's move on to today's creator spotlight. Today we get Misty's writing desk. So Misty does both writing and planning type videos. So she does stuff on her writing process and also her writing planner and just her planner in general. She does bullet journaling. So she has recently done videos of um, her desk and her desk setup. She redecorated her office. So there's a video of that, which it is, looks really great. And just different things of her working in her planner and her sharing her writing journey. So. If you like writing and if you like planning, then maybe you'll like Misty as well. So make sure you check out her channel that will be linked down below. That's going to be it for me today. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!